7 o'clock. Uh, may we start off by a salute of the nation's flag? in attendance, as well as Council Manager Don Genuso, uh, Planning Director, Assistant Manager Jack King, Chief of Police John Bukovinsky, Public Works Bill Waldorf, Troy Lucas of Zoning, and Township Engineer Dan Dyseroff of Gateway Engineers, and Township Solicitor Gretchen E. Moore. We had noted on the agenda that uh, Gene Batone will be coming to present Chief Bukovinsky with a check for Cecil Township Police Department amount of $6,000. Uh, these monies were seized from unlawful activities. Just got a text from Gene and he will be about 45 minutes late, so we'll bring him on as soon as he gets here. All right. At this time, may we entertain any citizens' comments for agenda-related items? Please step up to the microphone if you have anything to say. That's something that appears to be on the agenda. Very well. Pardon? Yes, please. Got the microphone. Alright, is there someone else? Sir? Yeah, Kevin Camerson, 15 Swahara Road. Uh, Chairman, I just have a couple questions. Um, resolution 084 2019, that being a part time position, was that advertised? No, it was not. How many letters of interest did you receive? I believe only two. Okay. Um, any of them from the that reside in the township? I don't know that that information is it's really not public to disclose who the applicants are for a position. Okay, thanks. Um, second question is regarding um, discussion, old business. Um, regarding discuss setting up a public meeting with BEP to discuss BEP property. Um, my only question is, um, Chairman, that you know, I know substantial um, dollars and the amount was you know expended on professional services. Just asking, are those professional services going to be invited to this meeting with the DEP to present their reports? Uh, I hadn't thought of it. I thought just that we would address the uh, the DEP, but to bring it up to the board. Well, I thought a couple of meetings back, we talked about having a public meeting presenting the professional reports. So I just questioned. Okay. Yeah, we. Two meetings ago, we discussed. Okay. okay, that's going to come. Thank you. With the word at that time, thank you. Next, take your name and address. Can you answer the question? Can you answer the question, please? I said, I will take it up with the board when we are on that topic. Yes. The last meeting, you said you were going to present the report. Are you yes or are you no on the reports that are relevant to the I mean, you said that the last meeting. So, are you working okay, on... Okay, you know what, Michelle, can I get you to step to the microphone and say your name and address? What report are you talking of? So, my name is Deborah Lee. I live at uh, 1411 Lexington Drive in Georgetown State. So, at the last meeting, there were questions about some of the reports that had been done relevant to the ABB purchase. You guys said you would bring them to this meeting. Is that going to happen? And Just the reports, yes or you know, what, you, what reports, what reports, what reports, The reports that had to do with the, with the state of the, of the property. So I think there were environmental reports. I think there were, um, Weren't there, uh, Crystal, weren't there ground, there was some sort of ground chemistry reports? There were a number of reports. 
folks were filing right to know to see them, yeah. and you all said you were going to present them to right. us instead right. of all of right. So if, if I wasn't at the last meeting, but if there are reports that are uh, publicly available, so if they're subject to you know right to know requests and something that's available to the public, then um, you should go to the proper channels and just submit a right to know request so and have those the reports channel, provided. They said that they would be displayed yeah, at the publicated last material to the public. Yeah. I'm sorry, what's that? At the last meeting, Gretchen, um, Mr. Cassiola and Mr. Shavada did say that they would provide them to the public. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, that they wouldn't have to file a right to know. They did specifically say that. Okay, well, you don't I prefer that. everything that goes through right to know. It's a simple form, and, you know, for people to be giving out things and that I haven't looked at as to whether they are subject to a right to know request or not, um, it's a simple form. I would just say come in, fill out the form, and then if, if they need a legal opinion on it, we'll get it. And if it's a public document, then, you know, you right. get it. Some of us have it. We'd like you to explain right. it to us. Right. So we, I, I think that the issue is that a lot of us have done that already, and a lot of us are in possession of those reports. Oh. But we were hoping to have someone explain them to us. Okay, so that's a bit of a different question. You're looking for, like, the professionals. Right. Well, yeah, I'm just kind of okay. combining everybody's issues here. Okay, so professionals' assessment of, of certain reports, which I understand there was at least one meeting, and you know maybe if there will be another meeting in the future, not one isn't planned yet, but if that's something the board wants to do, to have the professionals here who can explain certain things and answer questions, uh, environmental questions about reports. Right, that was kind of my question up to the board. That was kind of leading into my question, Michelle Stonemark, and um, forty North of Holly. Um, you have here discussed setting up a public meeting with the DDP to discuss the ABB property. Um, when we had a, we had questioned you guys about that at the last meeting and at the public ABB meeting when the engineers were here and um, we were told, I believe Mr. Dijeroff said that, that developing a meeting with the DEP is nearly impossible to have a public meeting with the DEP, that they almost never do that. Um, so is that something that you are trying to do now because of the negative response you got at the meeting that we had? Because it seemed to me pretty adamant that the people who came to the ABD meeting, the special specific ABD meeting that you held, it was pretty big consensus that people did not want this property being developed. The, con the consensus of the race of the show of hands was put, up, the beginning. was put up that did you want to see the professionals and ask them questions? So that was what that was what the question that I proposed to the audience was: Would you like to have those professionals that we may that they may answer the questions for you? Okay, that's not quite what I recall. But okay, um, I guess my question is, you know, just in regards to this, you know, whole DEP thing. That um, again, I just want to reiterate: we got a pretty big response of people that came to that special meeting discussing how they don't want that property developed. So I just want it to be in consideration when you do the considering of the uh, 082-2019 determination of Tucker Arnsberg. Um, I just want it to be known that I support that decision because I think that they were not representing us the way they should have been based on what came out of that meeting. I just want the board directors to take that into consideration. My name is Anna Cohen. I live in Cecil. Uh, and good, good evening to the supervisor. I hope you're all well and the meeting goes well tonight. Uh, I come before you supervisors at this time respectively and I ask that you table Items number 82 and 83. Yes, 82 and 83. Um, and having asked you to table these items, I'm not pointing a finger at any one of the board members. I respect every one of you on the board. It's not an easy job, especially what we're going to do now. But uh, with all the opinions, and all the accusations and all the misinformation as Michelle Stonemeyer has so wonderfully put. We've had a lot of misinformation out here. I, for one, do not know what is in the agreement that was signed by Attorney Tippett. Maybe that's my fault. I've had health issues. I haven't been involved in meetings in the last 
several meetings, but I would like to, uh, and I think my request is an appropriate action to be taken by the board. And I think it will help clear up some unanswered questions and maybe some potential false information. Um, I'm requesting that the board, uh, having uh, attorney to be, to be invited to come to the meeting with their board and citizens at a time that's convenient to both sides to read and discuss the agreement that was signed by the board which I have not read. I do not know what's in it. I would like to know in order to make an informed decision. And I've talked to a lot of our citizens also uh, about this issue. I mean, I've gotten lots of calls myself. People asking me what's in the agreement, I don't know. So I think it's a simple matter to ask if we have tabled these two issues, have Mr. Tippett come in with the agreement in hand maybe give copies to the citizens and explain to us. We have a right to know as taxpayer citizens. And at the last meeting, uh, one thing that really I'm puzzled about, because this is why we need Mr. Tippett here. Tupac? Uh, Brad Tupac? Brad Tupac? Tupac, I'll remember that. <laughs> I would like to request, and the people that have contacted me, is that at the last meeting, and this is nothing against any one of the supervisors that I'm making to make these statements. I respect all of them. But one of the supervisors said when it was asked if Mr. Tippett in the executive meeting was fired, one of the uh, supervisors said yes, one said no, and a third one said he walked out. So which is it? What happened to the attorney. What, what we don't know it was an executive session. Like I said, I'm not pointing a finger, but I think we have a right to know, and some of these questions answered. So I'm proposing that we have the attorney here next meeting, if possible, or a special meeting where all the citizens can hear from him what the agreement is about, what it states, what the position is. I don't think it's fair to dismiss or verify him without the general public or citizens of the town knowing what's going on. I'm not saying the board's right or wrong. I'm not taking sides either way. I want to wait till I hear the facts from the attorney before I make an informed decision. And I think it's only fair that this uh, is considered to table these two tonight and let's all of us be honest and with an open mind listen to what everyone says and not be so readily to just say what your point is of view and not be open minded enough to listen to all of us. It's for the good of the township. So, uh, and I would also like to add, I work for a large uh, information communications company and I know the uh, attorney firm of Tucker and uh, Aaron's firm. They are well known, reliable. They've been in this uh, business for probably 30 years or more. So I think in all fairness to all of us, to the board, the supervisors, the citizens, that we should table this, have them come back, have them come to a meeting, and read the agreement, let us ask them questions, and make our decision from there. So, that's it. And I thank you for your attention, and I respect thank your you. time, and I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you.